Hey guys, this is Jim, WT1W, and you're watching FEP Labs Radio. Thanks for stopping by. What have we got here? This is the Denco DIY battery kit. Now, full disclosure, I got this at no charge from Dennis Mahato, AD6DM of Denco, uh, in exchange for doing a review. Um, I'm kind of helping Dennis out with the review as well because we're going to go through the 36 page instruction, two pages or two sides to each page, <laughs> a step at a time and build this battery kit. Now the specs on the battery kit are nice. This is not a huge battery. This is a 71 watt hour capacity, 12.8 volt. This will charge at nor normally 14.6 volts, 6 amps max. It'll discharge up to 18 amps max, and of course it has a life cycle of around 2,000 charging cycles, temperatures, so on and so forth. This is a 5.5 amp hour battery, so you're not going to run a full day of POTA with this. This is an excellent battery for backup, for a small go kit, maybe a 2 meter radio, or to recharge batteries for other stuff. Dennis sends the kits quasi-prepared, so we don't have to do any spot welding here because you can see that's already been done by uh, Dennis at Denco. And he's marked the pack positive and the pack negative leads so we can appropriately identify them. These are 32760 type cells. I believe I gave you the right number. And of course, this comes with a couple of stickers. Uh, there's one there, a card for Dennis and Denco. And uh, Dennis is a great guy. I've met Dennis and uh, know him personally and really like him. Solid guy, very smart, smarter than me. It comes with this giant sticker with a QR code to go directly and get the instructions. And of course, you can get him at, at his website, DencoEnterprises.com as well. That same information is on the business card. We're gonna skip the unboxing part. We're already to the business. Included in the kit, as you can see, is all the parts that we need for this build. So let me pop this kit open. So we have another Denco sticker, which is very important. We have specs on the battery. So this is important when you're traveling with TSA because they're gonna to wanna to know what it is. So here's the official specs on the battery as well as a Denco Enterprise sticker. And once we're done with building our battery, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these on the pack so that we can identify this pack and we know what it is. We have, of course, our shrink wrap for the entire pack after we're done putting the pack together. We've got a couple of power pole connectors there. We've got charging and balance leads as well as shrink wrap and double-sided 3M to stick wires in place. And then this is our daily Denco um, BMS system, battery management system. This is daily or daily. I don't know how you say it. It's D-A-L-Y. I'd call it daily. But Dennis buys these direct from daily and they are Denco branded. So this is about as official as this kit gets. And that covers uh, most of the parts. Here's some other stickers that go over things to protect the leads so that nothing gets shorted out, that kind of thing. And then of course our instructions. And the instructions, as I said, we're gonna go through those item by item and get this kit built and put together. Uh, we're gonna read exactly what the instruction says for each step. We're gonna do those steps in order. So at the end of this, we'll have a build video and we'll know exactly how this kit is put together. And if you've been around amateur radio and YouTube for a while, you know this is uh, battery building is Dennis's thing. So I have a lot of confidence that this is gonna work out to be a great little battery kit. Now, the only downside to this kit, if you could call it a downside, is it doesn't come with a case, a hard-sided case of any sort. So obviously this is not gonna be a waterproof build. And it says that in the instructions. We're gonna end up with a battery pack that's beautifully shrink-wrapped, but it will not be waterproof or, or outdoor proof. So once you've got the kit built, you may wanna look at finding a case to put it in, something like a Tupperware case or, or like that, where you can minimize the exposure, run a couple of leads through for your power pole connections, 
and seal everything else off, something like that. We're not going to mess with that in the video. We're going to get this battery built and then we'll do a few tests on it. All right, let's get to it. So step one is to read these instructions. And I've read through them briefly. This is going to tell us the safety warnings on the battery. Uh, don't mess with it. Wear safety glasses. I have old man reading glasses on, which are close enough for government work. And uh, other things you're not supposed to do with these batteries, like don't lick the shiny metal part, don't use it in the bathtub. We have a list of kit items here that uh, everything we need, as well as a list of tools that we're going to need for this. A few optional things in the tool list. We have one 4S pre-spot welded 32650, I think I said 760, 32650 cells. Two lengths of pre-applied captain tape, one on top and one on bottom. We'll have to remove these and save them to put back on later because we're going to have to do a little bit of soldering on that. One Denco Daily battery management system plus wire lead bundle, which we have right here. Two double-sided sticky tape for the BMS, which we have right here. One length of red wire for positive output lead, also in the bag. Shrink tubing in that little bag. One pair of black and red power pole connectors. Check two pre-cut adhesive battery papers, which we have right here. One pre-cut piece of blue PVC shrink wrap, which we've already seen. A zip tie that's in that little bag. A Denco Enterprises reflective hologram sticker. We actually have two of those, very fancy. And the information label. And then we have a list of tools required. You're gonna to need to be able to crimp power pole connectors, a wire cutter stripper, small flathead screwdriver, or that weird little power pole connector tool. We might need some small flathead tweezers, fine grit sandpaper, that's to shine up those nickel strips so we can apply solder better. A hard plastic card, that's gonna to be to get a good crease on our tape when we fold it over. Micro cutters, a soldering iron, solder, a heat gun or hair dryer. There's all the gear you're gonna need. You may wanna set it out beforehand. 